Kaylee, where do I start? I remember as a young kid, often thinking and wondering where I would find my wife. The last place I expected it to be was at a concert. Austin, who would have thought all those years ago when we met at the Chainsmokers concert that we'd end up here today? I never could have imagined it at the time, but I'm so thankful God had a bigger plan to lead us back together all of those months later. I didn't think that Jersey would be the catalyst to get us back in communication, and I hated that dog at first, but he ultimately has proven his worth. He roped you in to loving him and eventually loving me. We've already built such a beautiful life together and I have loved every minute of it. I can't wait to continue to see where life takes us in our marriage and when we grow our family someday. Though not every day will be as exciting and special as this one, I know one thing for sure. You are the person I want to share every day with, whether it be exciting like today or just a boring old normal day. I love the trust and faith that you have in me. Not many people would leave behind old friends in a situation like that that we know and choose to trust a guy they just started dating. I will always put forward my best effort and my hardest work towards providing for you and our family someday. There's a few promises I want to make to you today as we jump into our marriage. Number one, I promise to love you on both the worst and best of days. Number two, I promise to be your biggest supporter and cheerleader always. Number four, I promise to be the best mother to our future children. And number four, finally and most of all, I promise to choose you today and every day from this day forward. I vow to stay faithful to you and continue to grow our relationship with God. I will support and love you through thick and thin. I love you more than words can express and more than you will ever know. Thank you for loving me unconditionally and always. I love you more. Now let's go get married. I love you. I thought we could both use some change. A newer perspective to see how life looked in a different lane. But here in your arms I can't leave now. Cause I don't Somewhere along the way Chasing the grass that looked greener Lost sight of my reason to stay But one look from you draws me nearer So I don't wanna let go It's a funny way of growing For those that don't mind slowing down Time is as fleeting as a sunset Hiding in the evening clouds So live with me here in this moment now Can we live right here in this moment? Welcome all of you to this very, very special occasion, the wedding of Kaylee Stearns and Austin Jacobs. By being here, you're showing your love, your care, and your support to Austin and Kaylee, not just today, but going forward as they make these promises, these vows to one another. Austin and Kaylee, take a deep breath. The day is finally here. Take a look at who has gathered. Friends, family, all here to support you because they love you and they care for you. Know that marriage was designed by God, given to us as a gift. God himself showed the way of 
of how we love each other in marriage by him sending his son Jesus to earth, not to be served, but to serve and to give his life for us. Kaylee, as you know, Austin is a great guy, but there might be things that you might not understand or things that might end up frustrating you along the way. And Austin, vice versa. You guys have both lived life on your own for a long time. You've um, developed rhythms, patterns, things that you've gotten used to, and now you need to create space to welcome the other into those things. So a few words of wisdom is to trust the heart of your spouse. Trust each other. You're on the same team, and God wants to do a work in you through marriage. As you go, work it out. God wants you to work in you. In marriage, I've learned a lot of my selfishness and bad habits, and God wants to draw you closer to him through marriage. As a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Kaylee Jacobs. introduced me to Kaylee, I knew Austin was going to be locked, a locked man forever. Austin, when Kaylee first told me about you, it was because she had gone to Kansas City for the weekend and came back home with a dog. I asked her whose dog it was and she wouldn't really tell me much. Well, fast forward to now, I've met the owner of Jersey, but I'm so glad that this mystery guy is now about to be my first brother. The first time I saw you two together, I knew you were perfect for each other. You guys have found a way to bring joy to each other's lives in ways that couples could only dream of. Kaylee, you picked a good one. And Austin, welcome to this family. Unfortunately for you, you're stuck with all of us now. So with that being said, if all of you could just raise a glass with me though. I hope you two have the most wonderful lives together and I know God has wonderful things in store for you. This is to good ships, wood ships, and ships that sail a sea, but the best ships are friendships, and may they always be. We wish you a lifetime of happiness. Cheers to the Jacobs. Cause I love